Unfortunately, we have to do this little piece. This is a no investment advice disclaimer. Basically, I'm an idiot. I'm on the internet, YouTube, talking about important subjects like uh, your money, fiduciary, investing, markets, and you should not listen to me. You should consult your own financial advisor. My disclaimer here is for you to pause it. You can look at it. You can read it, and it should be in the description. With that, let's move on to some good content. Here we are, April 18th, tax day. How's everybody doing this morning? Well, looking at the stocks here this last week, this week's an important, uh, to me, it's an important week. What we got is the banks reporting this week, and with that, we commented a couple of weeks ago about this resistance level or top here that we've seen it hit a couple of times almost there exceeded it there but on average we're looking at 4172 and if we look at the S&P today um, down here we're sitting at 4144 about 30 points off that top so this this line this 4172 important level but you can see here it's you know we're, we're seeing higher lows and higher highs if we can break this 4172 just even a little bit it would bode well for the markets now the downside of what I see here could happen is we go somewhere with this double bottom area around let's just call it 3700 it could go to 36 in my opinion if it's really bad news but we could be in this I'll, I'll say a trough a trading range if you look at this short term like I I am it's a year out but if this goes on for let's say the rest of 2023 we could see this trough this you know this range if you will and if you zoom out in on a five-year picture, this will just look like a very tight trading range, which in reality, it's there's money to be made there. But we could be in that. Um, it's going to be interesting. We'll see what the Fed does on this next uh, meeting. I think if they pause or hint at reducing, I think um, the markets will take it well. How well, um, has, we'll wait and see. But for the most part, I am really liking where we're at right here. Um, pretty stable. It's. Uh, I think we're still in bear mentality. We might be seeing signs of an early or a bottoming bear uh, market. But uh, the banks have been reporting solid. There's been, oh, some of the numbers are coming out. Um, mid banks or regional banks. Not the large cap, the huge ones, you know, Goldman Sachs, et cetera, City. The the mid, you know, your local key bank is what I have. Um, they haven't reported, and they won't report to the end of the week. But um, Bank of America has, and they're they're doing good. Depositors are, you know, holding steady. Um, they're seeing a shift, a rotation, due to higher interest rates elsewhere. Um, you know. Apple came out with a bank account that will pay, you have to have 5000 or more, but it's going to pay 4.15%. People are going to be gravitated that. Um, there's a survey that came out that on CNBC this morning that showed that people that have salaries have $50,000 in the market. I don't know how that's in the market. If it's, I assume that's people that are managing it themselves, not a mutual fund. Um, but... People like that are moving some of their money, I don't want to say all, but they're moving it to these higher accounts, CDs, treasuries, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, 4%, they still want safe money, or what's perceived as safe money, and treasuries and certificates of deposit definitely fit that bill. So, I, this is why I think we may see this range. I think I'm really looking for it to beat this this higher high scenario I'd love to see it you know any you know I'd love to see it up here at 4300 but you know we might get to 4250 we're already seeing today 
Um, people are taking profits right now. It's still early. But we got the rest of the week and lots of the banks to go. So the banks are reporting strong but claiming inflationary pressure. Um, the people are still spending money. Credit card sales are really strong. And if you think about it, they're not out buying homes, not as many, not buying cars. Um, they, people that have any little bit extra money are probably taking this opportunity to, you know, go buy a cup of coffee or take somebody out to eat or, you know, those small wins instead of saving money and getting a, you know, buying a big, you know, some jewelry or, you know, they're not the luxury items. They're not doing that as much. And that kind of happens in a recession. And we're seeing this rotation. To me, it's a good sign. Um, the banks are saying it's going to be tough and we've got inflationary pressures. Well, I got news for everybody. The government's got inflationary pressures. My household has inflationary pressures. Um, it means there probably be, will there be less money? I think it means um, the money will be spent differently in a recession, typically. Um, a lot of bull markets happen in a recession, a long recession. But I don't think this is, you might want not want to call it a soft landing, but I think we're there. I think uh, we'll see what Powell says here in the next, you know, the next three months is going to be crucial. But from what I'm seeing, people have felt the pinch. Um, tech is starting to think about doing a little bit of rebounding. And retail um, with China coming online, is uh, there, it's really strong there. So we may see more inflationary pressures, but hence why we could be in this range for a while. Um, the markets are in flux, but I'm liking what I'm seeing, really. I mean, I don't like the inflationary pressure. I don't like all that. Nobody does. But it's, we're not, the banks aren't collapsing. Um, they look solid. Um, will they stay from a stock perspective down lower? Yes. But like Key Bank, I think, is paying a 7% dividend. That's far above a 4% money mutual where some of these people are fleeing to. I'll take my chances on, on something like that. That's my thoughts. But, uh, yeah, got to watch that S&P right now. I haven't looked at the QQQ, but, ah, boy, I'm really, we're there. We'll see what happens at the end of the week if we break above it or if we start our retracement. Well, here we are at the end of uh, another video. I hope my comments and thoughts helped you out, maybe even confirm some of your thoughts. And with anything, I, I hope that uh, you make money. I hope I make money. And uh, we'll end this money talk. Um, hopefully, if you look and know my personality, you read between the lines and are able to discuss with your financial advisor and make a sound financial decision. Uh, Security Exchange Commission, that was a nervous twitch that I have eye problems. No, no, seriously, I, I'm seeing a doctor. I have eye problems. <laughs>